Montreal. One of the few French-Canadian cities in North America, it also happens to be one of the oldest cities in Canada, an iconic city known for its food and its people. My wife and I took a long weekend trip from Toronto to the French-speaking culinary capital of Canada. This is 72 hours in Montreal. We spent our first day exploring by foot. Montreal is a very walkable city with tons to see. Our feet brought us to our very first spot, a brunch spot called Shea. It's Middle Eastern breakfast food. Their food was unique, but very delicious. I highly recommend the eggs and shawarma. Are you uh, jealous of my iced coffee now? Look at this. Holy cow. Maple syrup in here as well. It's coming up? Yeah, it's coming in a few minutes. If you're more into scenery, then Montreal has some of the best architecture I've witnessed in Canada. It's located right by the port, just north of the river. Old buildings that look like they were from 18th century France, frozen in time and well preserved. If you like a bit of a hike, Mount Royal is a beautiful location to view the entire city. It's quite breathtaking. It was a scorching hot day and we needed to cool down. Plenty of refreshing bubble tea spots in Chinatown, opting for a slush instead of the traditional boba. Is it good? It's all we can handle. It's so hot outside right now. Oh, it's good. The food scene, like I've said, is iconic. Chez Toussignon, has been serving burgers and poutine and gets great reviews. We tried the cheeseburger with a side of poutine. The poutine was phenomenal. The curds weren't quite as squeaky as the ones we get in Toronto. The fries were crispy, cheese melted just a little bit to add to that amazing mouthfeel and chew. What do you rate it, better than Toronto's poutine? Montreal poutine. It doesn't get any better than this. But if you're looking for another iconic Montreal staple, then St. Viateur Bagels may be that spot. Line up at all times of the day and it's open 24-7. But if you're going, bring cash. No cards accepted here. The bagels are made fresh in-house all day. But they won't slice them up for you or put cream cheese on it. You'll have to do that yourself. But they sell all the needed essentials in store. The bagel is a... Uh... It's interesting, it's one side of it doesn't have any poppies and the other side is covered in poppies. It's a little bit stiff on the outside, but it's gonna be nice and chewy and doughy on the inside though. So I'm gonna cut into this. If you want to try other traditional Quebecois food, then I'd suggest Le Binerie Mont Royal. It serves traditional working class meals from old Quebec, preserving culinary cuisine and culture. The most traditional Quebec meal you could have. It's got <laughs> poor man's pudding, tortillere, baked beans. 24 75 that's like definitely enough to split between two people. Well, maybe we can go for the pig's feet and meatballs too. What do you think about that? No? Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll just we'll just stick with traditional Quebec breakfast then. Yeah. So they're starting us off with uh, some pea soup. All right, try that out. So we got the beans, uh, the meatballs, the pie, which is the tortillere, and we got some harvest greens and carrots with mashed potatoes. Bon appetit. Very Quebecois. Famous. Okay, you try your famous meat pie, tortillere. I'm saying that right. Okay. Oh, it's breaking apart. Oh, let's stay on. Mm. Mm. Very good, try it down. It's really hot? Yeah. Okay, I gotta be careful with this one. Cheers. Montreal is a beautiful city to visit any time of year. I can say now that I'll definitely be back soon. Goodbye Montreal. Cheers. Alright, cheers.